After Michael Jackson collapsed and a caller at his home dialed 911, dispatchers heard that Jackson's personal physician was right there at the scene. We have a personal doctor here with him, sir. Oh, you have a doctor there? Yes, but he's not responding to anything. To no, no, he's not responding to CPR or anything, sir. Oh. The Los Angeles Times has identified him as cardiologist Conrad Murray. Police later towed his car from Jackson's rented mansion because they say it could contain medication or other evidence. But they stress Murray is not a criminal suspect. We do not consider him to be uncooperative at this time. Uh, we think that he will assist us uh, without, uh, uh, we, he, we think that he will assist us in uh, coming to the truth of the facts of this, of this case. In fact, police did interview the doctor once as events were unfolding. Murray has reportedly been Jackson's personal physician for three years. Members of the Los Angeles Police Department did talk to the doctor immediately. It's just that, it, that an extensive follow-up interview wasn't conducted, so we have to do that now. A preliminary autopsy was completed in several hours, and the coroner's office says there were no signs of foul play. But an official cause of death could take up to six weeks while medical examiners await toxicology tests. Certain things they can rule out right away, like if you had a ruptured aorta, they would know it. Okay, If you had a massive blood clot in the lung as a cause of sudden death, that should be noticeable. Or if there was a big scar on the heart from prior damage, that would be noticeable. But it's not entirely conclusive until you do a detailed microscopic examination. Jackson's health had been known to be precarious in recent years, and one family friend said Friday he warned the entertainer's family about his use of painkillers. Certainly we do worry about giving um, potentially addictive drugs to patients, particularly those patients who may have had a history of addiction. At the same time, patients may legitimately have pain for which they require treatment with pain medication, and so it can be difficult to balance, but you have to weigh the risks versus the benefits when you're prescribing this medication or any medication for your patients. Another doctor says Jackson's numerous plastic surgeries were a sign of deeper problems. But an individual who wants that much change no doubt has some other psychological issues going on also. I think that the plastic surgery he had was just one manifestation of a lot of issues going on. The coroner's office said Jackson was taking some unspecified prescription medication but gave few other details. As fans worldwide continue to mourn, no funeral plans have been made public. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.